thanks for hopping on the phone for a little. Yes, thank you. The part's insane. The part's super good, dude. You killed it. Can you introduce yourself? What's your what's what's your name? Where you're from? How long have you been skating? My name is Jan Hirt. I'm coming from Switzerland, from the capital of Switzerland, actually. It's Bern, and I'm skating since like a little more than 12 years. What's it What's it like in Switzerland? You go in Paris, sailing a bunch. You like you eating a bunch of muesli. What's the scene like out there? <laughs> Oh, actually, we eat a lot of bread here. <laughs> a lot of bread. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we got to love some fresh baked bread, dude. We got to love some fresh baked bread. So you're out building skate parks. What's your daily routine like? I did an apprenticeship as a metal construction worker. Switched slowly to building skate parks. I'm on the construction side with Oli Bergin. What's the, what's the most annoying thing to weld? Usually just the coping because it's uh, galvanized. Welding all the coping really sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully everyone's got a newfound appreciation for uh, when they're tapping in on some grinds. Who's your filmer? Who are you working with out there? That was kind of funny because the guy started skating during COVID. Oh, okay. His name is Anthony Geispieler. He's a young, he's, I think he's 21. He's a really good snowboarder. And then he picked up skating and he realized like, oh shit, they, they need a filmer and he's into filming. And then he really, he really got into filming then. So my friend Noel and me, we just hit him up all the time and went filming a lot. He's got a bright future, man. Those are some angles, yeah. dude. I like the video. He yeah. captured it well. <laughs> Seems like you got a lot of rails in your part, a lot of like, you know, diversity of spots, but you know, a lot of your bangers are coming from rails. Is that like your favorite thing to skate? I'm really into bowl skating, actually. When I go Can to you 540? Park, no, <laughs> I never tried. Dude, you got to get out there. <laughs> next video next video part big 540 all right i i only need the ender so maybe maybe the next video part. <laughs> yeah, exactly <laughs> growing up i mostly skated like ledges and rails because that that was the only thing we had and then we started building some diy stuff and so then transition came into into that place and we slowly transferred from street skating to transition skating what were some things like that was like difficult about filming this part? You know what I mean? You take any heavy hits? Was this part like challenging? There's one 50-50 on the rail, which goes bank up and bank down. Yeah, yeah. Um, and there's a river on the other side or a creek. It's more a creek. I think my board fell in there twice and I completely like fell over the rail with the belly as well. I think the gnarly stuff, there were no heavy bales because I think it's... Just you concentrate more if it's heavy. Any notable mentions? Like most, I'm happy I got that one. Tricks? Um, the kickflip, like the started because I had this dream of top view of the spot and one guy falling, like grinding the, the second bank, grinding down on the side and completely like body slammed to the flat. My friends, the, we were three people and one filmer. The two other dudes, they already filmed something. And both of them didn't slam at all. And I was like, dude, there's a slam gonna be happening right now. And it's me. And then this homie shows up, not skating really secure, trying to drop in the double bank. He went straight up, going for the double bank, and he had exactly the slam I saw in the, in the dream. And for me, it was like, okay, at least I know it's, it's not me. And I, I, like, I landed the next one because I saw the slam from somebody else. The dream sequence comes true. Yeah, actually it did. <laughs> no manifest destiny for you. You know, you avoided it. That's all that matters. <laughs> yeah. Let's just fast forward right to the end of the video. The, your ender, what was that like? So I found the rail going around and I was like, wow, this schoolyard looks sick. And I just, Looked around and I found this rail in the back of the school. I thought like only the down part is possible. Like the, the down flat down, which is the 50. I think it's the second trick. And then, yeah, I tried to go from the top and I realized really early on that keeping it in, in the 50-50 is really hard because that one corner goes like from 45 degrees straight to down. So I always slammed when I tried to lock in both of them. So I decided to take it to feeble, but still it, it went like three, no, four missions until we got it. Damn. Uh, 
Uh, well, dude, let's uh, cap this off. Any advice for skaters around the world? Um, yeah, come come to Mosvark. It's our uh, DIY. It's gonna be torn down, I think, in the latest at in two uh, in two years. Oh shit! But it's inside a basement. It's crazy. You should come by with some with Jake. Jake could rip this thing. You know, I like international travel, so I guess you know I might just have to pencil that one in. You know what I mean? Yeah, let's do it. I'm, let's do it. <laughs> I'm more than down to show you around my hometown and show you some spots. Ah, uh, well, shit. Hey, thanks for hopping on the phone for a little. Take it easy. Part's amazing. Make sure you check that out, and I'll talk to you soon, dude. Yes, thank you.